This is the future. the future. All right, guys. So we are going to attempt to reseed this whole area of the lawn. As you guys can see, there's still some grass left there. Now, this is my test lawn. I planted my test grass which is a Bermuda grass and it's starting to grow now it takes about 30 days for it to get to this point so before we start I just want to thank you guys for watching this video and I hope you're going to enjoy it give this video a like and subscribe to my channel and remember to hit that bell icon so that you can get notified of my further uploads feel free to check out my updated website and or Join my Facebook group to get behind the scenes info. What I've done so far today, I have cleaned the area. I have taken off most of the loose leaves and stuff that's lying around. I've cut the grass. Now I'm going to go around and take out all these um, weeds. We need to take the weeds out. And then we're going to process the ground and prepare it for sowing. Okay guys, I have taken out most, <clears throat> if not actually all, the weeds. So my, my test ground looks very good. You will see there's some of the old grass growing in between the new ones. These um, fine ones, these fine ones are the new ones. And these older ones are the, the, the older grass. Um, so this is coming up very nicely. Hopefully it will fill in... The patches so we won't be planting today because the time has, has caught us Good morning guys and welcome back to the next morning so today we're going to actually be sowing the, the grass first thing we need to do is we need to loosen up all the soil so we're going to take a, a fork and we're going to start digging up all the, the ground making it nice and loose Gee whiz guys, this is such a big effort because um, as I'm loosening the ground this trees of the neighbor the root systems are all over this place look at this and the roots are running everywhere underneath the ground and there's also rocks um, that's very shallow so I'm finding like pieces of brick and here's a cement block and rocks that's underneath and lastly not to mention that the soil is as hard as stone so I'm using a lot of water to uh, uh, wet the surface before I start loosening up the ground and I still have this whole distance to go so this is going to take up most of my day yeah this is this is um, difficult, difficult, difficult. But we'll get there, we'll get there. That's it guys, the whole area that I want to plant has been loosened up. It was quicker than I thought, but longer than I would like. It's freaking hot outside and I am now very tired. So the next step for me is going to be to take a rake and rake everything level. And then we'll take the next step from there. Okay, everything has been raked level, as level as I can get it, actually looks very good. But the reason why I didn't do this part is because I have to have a walkway. And as you can see, my washing line is here, so I'm going to be walking there up and down every day, hanging up washing and stuff, so I cannot afford to plant grass there because it will never grow. But, if this grass eventually spreads over, by all means. But in the long term, I'm planning on building a footpath all the along the house from the steps so I'm not too worried about this section we're going to take the fork that fork and we're going to make holes all over the place so that when we sow the seeds they can fall 
a bit deeper into the ground because the last part you have to do is rake it again once the seeds are sown so uh, and then you have to compact it so that's going to be a bit difficult because i don't have one of those um, rollers that you use to roll over the grass or roll over the lawn with so everything is being done manually so um but it, it actually looks good um it looks much different than it did i'm happy okay i've taken the fork and i've poked holes all over the place you can't see them very well but i've poked holes all over the place so this is what I'm planting, it's uh, Bermuda and um, the reason why I'm planting this is because it's excellent in drought and we've got quite a, a dry area here and I don't always give water. It has low water needs, excellent heat tolerance and soil tolerance and uh, we are just following these instructions. Plus they say that this is the best for pets and since I have the dogs this is what I'm going for. So, let's see how it goes. Now it's time to sow the grass seeds and then we're just going to take a rake and just cover them all up again and compact them and then we'll see if we can get everything nice and moist. Such a big box for this little bit of seeds. Okay, well they say I must sow it evenly. I don't know how the hell I'm going to get this even but I'm going to try my best. Okay guys, so I did put some compost in you won't really see it now because I worked it into ground. Yeah, here's some granules. It's like a nitrate feed. Um, I did rake everything in again. Now we have to compact it like this. So I don't have a roller. So all I can do is walk all over the place and see if I can compact it like, like this. <laughs> the only reason you do that is to make sure that the seed is making good contact with the soil. And then we're going to start watering it and then we'll see in two weeks time what grew and what didn't grow i'll keep you guys uh, up to date hi guys so this is i uh, planted the grass on thursday friday uh, so this is the fourth day um, obviously nothing will come up yet we still have to wait a few days but it's been raining non-stop for two days so that's nice uh so we'll see hi guys so this is the seventh day that we've planted the grass the ones that were here is growing actually quite nicely but it's not spreading and that was the problem with the grass it was just growing straight up our test sample area the grass is also growing very nicely it's getting long now but all the new ones that we've planted has not come up yet um I'm starting to worry about it, but I know I should give it the 14 days. We'll see by next Friday um, if there's any new grass coming up. Hi guys, welcome back. This is day 13 and our test batch is getting nice and long. It's almost ready for cutting. The old grass that we had is um, spreading a bit, so it's actually coming out nicely. I do see how here and there. We have some of the new grass coming out. Morning guys. So, 21 days later, and we have much more grass coming up um, in certain spots. There's like um, clusters that's popping up. And some of them are nice big clusters. So I am very happy. I'm, I'm very chuffed that they are growing. So now let's just see how long is it going to take for it to cover the whole lawn. So um, let's say it takes it takes uh, 14 days for it to start coming up. 21 days for it to really start popping up everywhere we want it to pop up and uh, let's see how long it's going to take to spread this now is more than 30 days this this is almost a um, month and a half old now and that's the length that they are now but they grow quick but they're not they're not spreading as i thought they would they called it uh, creepers but it's not creeping anyway 
and of course always have to take out these unwanted bushes uh, weeds out between the grass and uh, I haven't been in this area for a while because I didn't want to step on anything so I'm just keep in mind that I have to take the weeds out periodically and this is almost ready for for trimming again um, because when you cut it you're just supposed to cut the ow shit I start pulling out my grass you start you should just trim the the tips you don't cut the grass down to the ground and that is supposed to promote growth and for it to spread so um oh shit can you believe all this weeds coming out again oh come on i took everything out before i started planting okay well that's how far we are so um let's take another let's say 30 days um what's the date today today's the 17th I will make the next video on the 17th of December and then we see how far the grass has has grown. Hi guys, so today we started with the instant lawn on this side of the yard. This is 10 blocks, it's already 100 rand. So I worked it out for me to plant this whole yard, it's going to cost me over two or three thousand rand. So this is your option. If you want to plant grass, you have to be extremely patient because the grass doesn't come up everywhere where you sow the seeds, number one. Number two, it took me two months and this is how far we got. As you can see, it's only coming up here and there, the new grass. It's not even spreading. So it can take two, three to four months before this is going to be covered up if it's even gonna be covered up and this you can do within two days if you have someone to help you to take out your own grass or if you want to buy grass obviously taking it out yourself is the cheaper option but you're going to work your ass off and um, you have to keep this wet now every day for it to get the roots into the ground and then uh, Obviously you can't start cutting the grass immediately, you can maybe take a, a edge trimmer or a weed eater and just trim the grass the way you want to trim it. Now obviously I have to lower this section by about this much so that when I plant the grass the gate will open. And then you have to also loosen up all this ground and get all the trenches covered up and level before you can plant the grass here, courtesy of the dogs. Uh, which still hasn't stopped digging. They've got this new spot where they want to dig and this is one of them. Now, for some other reason, my one pit bull has got a personal vendetta against the cycad. She keeps on eating the fucking leaves. She eats off the bloody leaves every time. When the tree is bare, she leaves it alone. But the moment the trees are up, the, the leaves, she starts eating the leaves. So I've got these round bars and I've got a, a kind of netting I'm going to put up now around the garden to see if I can keep her out. I'm going to get myself someone who can go over there uh, into the park and take out some grass there against the, the water, the water line. So I'll keep you guys posted. Hi guys, this is the 13th and um, the last video that I'm going to make on this grass story. As you guys can see, the grass is growing much quicker now. All my new grass is, is going up. Um, but it doesn't seem like it's spreading on top of the ground. It seems like it's more spreading under the ground. There's new ones coming out there. There's new ones coming out there. So, um, I've already cut it um, late last week. So I'm going to cut it again today. So now I have to basically cut the grass twice. But it's starting to fill in the gaps. As you guys can see, the gaps are filling up. It's going to take some time. But like I said uh, in the previous statement that um, planting grass is a long process. If you're not in a hurry, then you can um, plant grass. The ones that I've already put down last week, my instant lawn has already taken up. It's already rooted. 
and I've already cut it once and I cut it again today so if you want to do it the quick way just plant grass that's already there I'm going to see if I can cover this whole area um, latest next week Friday I just need to get some some guys to help me and then uh, today we're just going to level out this ground so guys if you like this video give me a thumbs up remember to subscribe to this channel ring the bell icon so you can get notified of any of my new uploads happy holidays to all of you guys and then i'll see you again in january in the new year and may you all have a very blessed and wonderful christmas with your families until next time guys cheers